Bennett Kessler filed this story. Obvious in many places along Highway 395 are construction crews, heavy equipment, large spools of conduit or fiber optic cable between Carson City and Barstow. It's all part of the digital 395 and Sarah Messaline of Mono County sent out an update on that high speed internet project. Now, as most know, this is a 583 mile long fiber network which roughly follows the alignment of Highway 395 as it crosses through Douglas, Mono, Inyo and Eastern Kern counties. Now the projects, the projects consist of a 432 strand high capacity fiber cable that will connect roughly 250 government, educational and medical anchor facilities along the route, as well as serve as a much needed backhaul for telecommunication companies who distribute cellular and internet services to subscribers throughout the area. Now, Mr. Lian said that after nearly two years of wading through a permitting and cultural review process that involved more than 40 different agencies and resulted in over a hundred different issued permits. Construction on Digital 395 began earlier this summer. Now the construction portion of the project is being headed up by Praxis Associates, which has three separate subcontractors doing the work simultaneously along the route. In Mono County, construction began in August in downtown Bridgeport on Kingsley Street, then quickly moved west out of town and through the Bridgeport Valley. Now, since that time, crews have completed the segment between Bridgeport and Colville, in addition to significant portions of the route outside of Mono County. Barstow to Ridgecrest being one of them. Now construction recently began on the segments immediately south of Highway 203 and will begin in the areas between Bridgeport and Mammoth in the coming weeks. And the project deadline is July 31st, 2013. Now completion of this project will mean more capacity for internet use in Inyo and Mono counties and backups for our phone systems. And if you would like to get more information about the project, you can check out our website, sierrawave.net for contacts. Well, Mammoth Town Manager Dave Wilbrecht has confirmed that the town will continue to employ Assistant Town Manager Mariana Marashiva Martinez into 2014. Bennett Kessler filed this report. Mar Marashiva Martinez's current contract does end next spring, and Wilbrecht said the town is in the process of amending that contract to include a new title and duties and the same pay. Now, Wilbrecht said Martinez's contract will be extended through July 2014, and her job description will be Administrative Services Director, which is in the approved budget. Now, during talks about elimination of jobs and the restructuring of Mammoth Town government, a number of citizens pointed to two town managers as too expensive and unnecessary. Asked to respond to those critics, manager Wilbrecht said, quote, the town has many managers, the police chief, public works, community development and recreation, end quote. Now, Wilbrecht said that Martinez will be a manager to oversee the financial department. He said that he and Martinez have never been, quote, two people doing the same thing, end quote. Now, Wilbrecht said Martinez has focused on the settlement with Mammoth Lakes land acquisition and will do follow-up work on that issue as well as, quote, development and management of the town financial systems, tax collection systems, budgets, state reporting, employee salary and benefit study, development of an asset management plan, and the performance efficiencies in many town activities, end quote. Now, Wilbrecht said that if the town did not retain Martinez, they would advertise and hire an administrative services director. Sierra Wave Media asked Wilbrecht to generally describe what it is he does for the town and what Martinez will do. Wilbrecht said he handles labor negotiations, regional partnerships with the county forest service and other agencies, oversight of all departments such as human resources, risk management, police department, parks and recreation, planning, economic development, housing, ESTA, and the MLTPA. And Wilbrecht said he is also the personnel director. Now, Wilbrecht said Martinez's job is systems and finance, budget development, implementation and monitoring, post-bankruptcy details, which are numerous, budget work, he said, including forecasting, capital projects, and budgeting, agreements at the airport, and in the future, 
many other tasks. Now, Martinez will continue to make gross payments of $192,000 per year, plus travel and use of a town-owned condo. Asked again to comment on those who criticize retaining Martinez, Wilbrecht said, quote, there are certain things government needs to do and do well. Our goal is to do things well. Mariana will help us do that. And a note about the disabled sports Eastern Sierra. Hey, it's the Island Extravaganza coming up. It, it's Cajun theme this year. Should be a heck of a lot of fun. Gator Beat will be providing the live music. They're described as the West Coast's hardest hitting Zydeco New Orleans R&B band. It's always a party at the Island Extravaganza. That is taking place this Saturday, December 8th at Canyon Lodge, 6 p.m. Tickets are $65, including dinner and a raffle ticket. Yeah, they're going to have dinner, dancing, and a silent auction. You can call for tickets and more information at 760 Six zero nine three four zero seven nine one disabled sports Eastern Sierra. Uh, it's a great party coming up this Saturday. We'll be back with a weather report as well as some awards for the Bishop Bronco football team.